What's going on guys, it's Snowballer and today I'm back with my second episode in my auto-generated um, franchise league. And today we are finally, not finally I guess, but we are going to be getting into some gameplay. Um, first I have to adjust the rotation, but actually I do want to check my staff first. Do I want a different head coach? Probably. Let's see who the candidates are. So we have like Jacob Underwood, probably not going to get him. Grit and grind coach, I don't think that fits us with having a super fast point guard and then also having a three point shooting, a dead eye shooting uh, shooting guard. It would work for our center because he is a beast down low, but other than that, it just doesn't make sense. Michael Soffer, I'm not getting. He is extremely OP in this game. I'm just not dealing with that. Trent Peterson would be a considered candidate. Owen New or Otis Newman would also be a considered candidate. Owen Taylor. He has potential. He's not an amazing offensive coach. He's an average defensive coach coach, but he has a lot of potential. He might end up being my assistant coach, but because I do want to get rid of uh Ed Plunkley or whatever that kid's name is. Lucas Lucas. Hey, we could have Alan Allen as one of our players and then Lucas Lucas as our, as our head coach. That would be interesting. He's a defensive minded coach. Um, I think we have quite a bit of defense. Our point guard is a really good defender. Um, Barney Owens. And then our center is obviously a really, really good defender as well in John Nixon. So that'd be interesting. Um, Otis Gordon. Otis. Where did I get these names from? I think Otis Newman. Yeah. Oliver Gordon, B minus, B minus, A potential, pace and space. That would probably fit us pretty well. I don't know if that's what I want to go with. I'm thinking Benjamin Walker. He's a really good defensive coach, but he's got balanced system, which I think will work for us. A potential. He's going to get hired, whether that be our head coach or our assistant coach. I think I want him as our head coach. So we're going to fire Ryan Saunders. Um, and then we're also going to fire Ed Pin. Pinkney. We're going to fire Saunders and Pinkney, and we're going to bring in a new coaching staff. Our head coach is probably going to be Benjamin Walker. He is an assistant coach, so maybe if there's a head coach that's here I might that I want, I might take them instead. Yeah, we're going to take Benjamin Walker to be our head coach. We're going to lock him up for four years. Um, we're also going to try and get him as low as we can two and a half mil that's nice okay four years ten million dollars then our assistant coach is probably gonna have to be all right so i ended up hiring otis newman i guess my camera cut out or whatever i ended up hiring otis newman as my assistant coach and then benjamin walker is obviously my head coach newman is on a two-year deal half a million a year that's good all right now we can deal with our lineup so I kind of have a plan here. I want to run a, what was it, nine man rotation? With my three main guys getting heavy minutes. 38 probably for Ben or for Barney Owens, 36-ish for Ian Grant, and probably 36-ish as well for John Nixon. Um, but I don't want Dan Morris playing. He's way too old. I'm not gonna be bringing him back. I want to test Dustin Jeffries. Probably give him about 10 minutes a game. Probably something like this. I do want Shelton playing quite a bit because he's going to have to be in at all times with these two guys. Um, I only have three bigs to play. I guess I could probably go Allen Allen or Chucky Ball as a um, power forward at times, but I'm going to focus on trying to do a three big rotation. So think I want to do something like this I'll get this squared away and then I will come back when my lineup is complete all right I do actually want to do a um, rotation timeline so that can be kind of a structure to have to my rotation as the coach I won't have to worry about subbing people in at random times or the coach won't just sub people in at random times it'll kind of be however I want it structured so we're gonna do that quick I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right, this is saved. Um, also, injuries are on. Um, they're 
a little less common in this than in the normal like settings or whatever because I do have my own special settings for like franchises and stuff. Alright now we just have to set the system and I think we're probably going to go with balanced unless something for some reason is higher. Um, nope, balance is three and a half, seven seconds is three and a half, um, perimeter centric and pace and space are all three and a half, but we're going to go with balance just because it fits two of our three main guys perfectly. So, so Ian Grant and Barney Owens both are near perfect for balance, so we're just going to use balance because that seems like what makes sense. Who else fits balanced? Who doesn't fit balanced? Nixon's our third best fit, which is nice. Alan Allen, Doug Lambert. Okay, so who doesn't fit it? Martin Shelton, our backup center. Chucky Ball, our backup small forward. Those are the two that don't fit it really, like at all. So, Chucky Ball probably won't be here after this year. No, he won't be here after this year because I'm not resigning him. But, anyway, I suppose we should just get into the first game. Um, before I did look at the, um, I think it was last episode, I did look at, like, how many players were this overall and whatever and where my guys were. I do want to look at by position. So, I think Barney Owens is an 88, if I'm not mistaken. It must be an 87, then. Because he's not there. Okay, so Barney is the fourth best small, or point guard in the league. Ian Grant is the 16th-ish best shooting guard, so about 15th or so. 10th best, somewhere from t six to ten, or seven to ten rather, somewhere from seven to ten. So not amazing. I mean, we have two top 10 guys at their position, and then a top 15 or so guy. At his position so we're not actually an amazing team um but I think we could definitely make the playoffs and probably make the second round make a push for the um conference finals this season I don't expect to make the finals I don't even expect to make the conference finals but um I think we have a shot at it all right so our first game is against the Nets and they have the a top point guard in the league so I am going to be playing this game, at least a little bit of it. I do also want to play it just because it's the first game with this team and I want to see what this team's like with the players that we have and everything. So we match up pretty well with them. Um, point guard, it's pretty close. They have that one. Shooting guard, it goes to us. Small forward, it goes to us, but it's really close. Power forward, it goes to them. And then center goes to us, but it's pretty close. So it's a pretty fair matchup. Alright, so we start the game off by losing the tip, which win the jump, win the game. Um, so apparently we're losing this one already. Uh, I don't know if I want to play... I'm not going to play the full game. I don't know if I want to play like the first quarter and fourth quarter or something maybe. We'll, pro we'll play the first quarter and probably simulate um, with SimCast to see where we want to go to in the game if we need to jump in again. Um, I'm going to try and get Grant going since he is like our scorer, I guess. And he misses that corner three to start the game out. I'm going to have to get used to everybody's shot. Um, release. the release and everything. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get that figured out. We're going to pick and roll here with Nixon on the second. Um, wow, Roy is dogging right now. On the second possession here. Nate Roy hits that pull-up mid-range jumper. He is he is really good. He is a really good player. Um, he has me worried. I don't know if we can stop him. I don't know if we can get past him on the other side either. So um, we are going to be in a um, tight situation in that position. But Ian Grant gets our first points of the game with that three off the screen. Nixon should have been able to block that one. If he does have 94 blocking, you should be able to block that shot. Against a guard? Yeah. No reason that he should be able to get that shot over you. And Grant just barely misses that one. 
and one. They're gonna pull this lead to 10 immediately. Less than three minutes into the game, and we're gonna be down by 10 if he makes this shot, which I'm guessing he probably will. One thing that is weird about auto-generated players, 2K doesn't really give them a high free throw um, attribute for some reason. So, yeah, free throws are going to be harder to come by. A green from Roy. Roy is really killing us right now. That mid-range shot is just way too easy for him right now. The flyby. Grant with another three. He's got six of our eight points right now. Roy again in the mid range. Can we stop that man, please? Nixon with the jumper. Roy's killing us in the mid range. Let's see if we can kill them with our point guard. And we don't there. Owens misses. We got to get back in transition. And Roy, another mid range shot. 20 to 10. We need to get something going here. Pick and roll. Wide open, elbow, hits it. Allen Allen gets an and one. He's going to the line. Gets the offensive rebound, put back, and one. And Allen Allen pulls pulls the lead down to six, or the deficit, I guess, down to six with that free throw. And Nate Roy has the ball, and that just worries me. Anytime he touches the ball, I am scared that he's just going to blow by us. And instead, it was West that time blowing right by us. Ian Grant was stuck. Wow. Very early release and contested, and somehow Barney Owens still is able to get it to go. Grant just is not playing very good defense I mean like obviously I'm the one playing but it just feels like he's super slow and slow to turn doesn't like change directions quick enough or anything it's just really hard to stay in front of guys with him Nixon with a block but they get the put back we will get a stop and then we can't finish the stop can't finish the possession off I just realized that um, substitution was on manual. That's why nobody has been subbed out yet. And also, fatigue is off, so I'm going to have to fix that before my next game. Nice block from Nixon. And the alley-oop on the other end. And Allen Allen gets the steal. Another lob from Hendricks to Nixon. Power forward to center for some reason. They've connected on it twice though. Roy, seriously dude, Roy will not stop. Grant with the corner three, hits it. 33 seconds left in the first quarter, and we're down by 11 points right now. And Grant gets the steal. Grant pushes ahead. Somehow gets that to go. Green release on the wild layup. Okay, we need to stop Roy. That needs to be our number one thing, is just staying in front of Roy. We do, we do stay in front of him. He gets a shot off, but he does not make it. Allen Allen comes down. Wow, that was bad. Alright, so we were down by 9 at the end of the um, first quarter, but simulation, we've come back. 8 minutes to go, we are tied. We're up by 3 now. Up by 2. 2 minutes to go. 27 seconds, we're up by 2. Gotta play these last 27 seconds. Alright, so they have the ball. They get it in. Monroe, they call timeout. Barney Owens is your player of the game, 26 points for him, 11 for him, 18 for the field, so he is the reason we were able to come back. But defensively, he hasn't been great. Nate Roy has been killing us. I guess I don't know about sim in simulation, we need to get the ball out of his hands, there we go. 
Owens gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line with 15 seconds to go to try and put the icing on the cake. Three point game. Can he make it a four point game with 15 seconds to go? He does. 28 points, 13 assists for Barney Owens. That's a stat line. A good one too. All right, so we're up by four. We just don't foul. That's that's our big thing. Don't foul. Make them take as much time as they can to get the shot off, but don't foul. They miss it. And they foul Chucky Ball. Ball will be shooting the free throws with six seconds to go. Try and put it to a six-point game. Makes the first. It's a five-point game. And really, I have to thank the simulation for this. Simcast came through. We came back. And we are going to start the season off 1-0. Perfect season still intact. Nate Roy had 26 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists. 50% from the field, 50% from 3, and 100% from the line. Uh, Earl Fa Foster, I think that's their power forward. Yep, their power forward, he had... He had 23, 12, and 2 steals. Uh, Wes Kane, their center, had 23 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 4 blocks, 11 for 13 from the field. And then here's the rest of their stat line, the rest of their team stat line. And then for us, apparently Doug Lambert ate some bad food during the game because he was not injured before the game, but now he is injured. So that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Everyone else has, is healthy though. Barney Owens had 28, 4 rebounds, 13 assists, and 3 steals. Versus the 26 and 12, very similar stat lines for them too. Um, Barney was slightly better, evidently. Ian Grant had 26, 5, and 4. Ended up shooting 7 for 16 from 3, so that's not bad. 9 for 23 overall isn't very good though. That's 2 for 7 from inside the arc. 20 points for Chucky Ball, 6 for 10 from the field, 3 for 5 from 3, and 5 for 6 from the line. Really good game from him off, off the bench. John Nixon, seven or 14 points, only 7 rebounds, 4 blocks, 7 for 11 from the field. Fouled out, obviously. Ruben Hendricks, 11 rebounds, or 11 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, 4 for 10 from the field. Um, and then Allen Allen just did not have a good game. In 35 minutes, he only scored 7 points. Had 4 rebounds and 4 assists on 3 of 11 shooting. Was a minus. So, there's that. He was one of 2 players to be a minus in this game. One of 2 players to be a minus in this game. Him and then Doug Lambert, who played 16 minutes. Shot 1 for 6 from the field and 0 for 3 from 3. And had food poisoning, apparently, at some point. Alright, so we started the season off 1-0. Before I forget, I need to turn on fatigue and I guess that's it because the the um, rotation thing um, saves itself. So fatigue is now on. That'll stay on. I also do want to... Is that in here? I want to change the shot meter and fatigue meter to like cyan or something. Something easy to see. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to simulate a little bit. Well, we should really look to see if there's any teams I want to play against. I don't really care to play against this team. There's nothing I see that's like, makes me want to play against them. I mean, they have Mo Williams, so that's cool. But he's 6'10 and a small forward. Not the real Mo Williams, I guess. Um, But Edmund Mitchell just doesn't really... I mean, he looks really good, but it's just not someone that I want to play against. A 86 overall power forward. So we're going to simulate that game. Doug Lambert, food poisoning. Yeah, I know. It makes no sense, but okay. We win that one by 23 points. So we're 2-0 to start the season. Mitchell had a really good game against us, though. 26, 13, and 5. Uh, Fr Frederick, Frederick Lyles, yep. Um, Frederick Lyles had 27, and 3. Um, three steals and two blocks for Daryl Bryan. All right, and then for us, Ian Grant had 35 points on 23 shots. Nine for 13 from three is amazing. Barney Owens had a great game as well. 
34 points, 5 rebounds, 12 assists, and 3 steals. 10 for 15 from the field, 4 for 5 from 3. Martin Shelton actually had a really good game as well. 24 points, 7 rebounds. Allen Allen, 14 points, 4 rebounds. 6 for 9 from the field. A lot better than the last game. Um, he's up to 45% shooting from the field. Dustin Jeffries, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. I didn't know if I wanted to give him minutes or not, but I felt like I needed a backup point guard. That's the only reason he got minutes. And I didn't know, like, I'm trying to figure out now if I want to re-sign him or not. So that's what we're going to have to look at throughout the season. Keep an eye on him throughout the season or if I need a trade for another point guard or sign a different one in free agency or something. We'll see. Chucky Ball, not an amazing game. 3 for 8 from the field. 9 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. John Nixon again fouls out. Dang. 8 rebound or eight points, 2 assists, 1 rebound, 1 block, 1 steal. 4 for 4 from the field and fouls out in 20 minutes. Wow. That's not good. All right. And now on this Miami Heat team, they have Chucky Williamson, an 80 overall point guard, Kurt Justice, an eight, a 72 overall shooting guard, Corey Waters, 76 overall small forward, an 86 overall power forward. Again, I don't care about playing against good power forwards because we don't have a good power forward. And I, I don't know. It's just... Oh, but they also have Nate Kerr, a 90 overall center. So, yeah, we're probably going to play against them. I think I want to just sim cast and jump in in the fourth quarter or whatever if it's close enough. But Nate Kerr is... He, he's really good. I don't know how he does in simulation. We're going to win this game by a lot. But currently he has 16 points and 11 rebounds. And on the season he's averaging 23.5 and, and 16.5. And Crazy numbers. 2.5 blocks as well. Wow. In just two games, obviously, so things can change a lot, but those are some crazy numbers. We do end up winning by 10 points, though, so, I mean, I guess not that big of a deal, but, but, um, yeah, he finished with 16 and 11. Oh, he fouled out in 34 minutes. Pete Mann put up 30 points and 9 rebounds. Then our team... Ian Grant had 34 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. 10 for 23 from the field. Still below 50%. Just, just cannot seem to get above 50% from the field. 5 for 12 from 3 is not that bad. Uh, John Nixon didn't foul out of this one. He had 8 offensive rebounds, 19 total. 22 points, 19 rebounds. 3 assists, 3 steals, and a block. 6 of 11 from the field. 10 for 13 from the free throw line. Barney Owens, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 8 assists, 5 steals, 7 for 18 from the field. Not bad. Not a bad game at all. We were able to beat that team. That team looks pretty good. They have two really good big men. So, I'm happy with that. Um, I guess they're only 1-2 and two now, but this team hasn't won yet. They got Herb Cameron, an 86 overall point guard. Um... Averaging 17.5, 6, and 5 through two games. Uh, Ross Moore Sr., I guess, is their second best, or oh, third best player in the starting lineup. Brooke Williams is a 7 2 center. Um, 16 points, 6 rebounds. 6 rebounds at 7 2 is not very good. Um, two blocks, shooting 43% from the field. I'm not too worried about him. Um, yeah, we're gonna sim cast that or simulate that one. This team has Willard Felder, not huge on playing against him. Mark Hilliard, not huge on playing against him either. So we'll simulate that one. Bucks, I believe they have a really good point guard. Maybe not. I thought they did for some reason. Rod Francis, Fran Francis, Francis is their second best player. The best player is Jason Valentine. 14 and a half points, six rebounds, one and a half assists. See, I could have swore that they had a point guard that was really good. 26 points per game for Rod Francis. That's crazy. Holy cow. Was he he was he had to start in those games though. He wasn't coming off the bench, right? He did. He came off the bench in both those games. He came off the bench and put up 30 points against Miami. 30 points in 29 minutes. Oh, here's their really good point guard. 
Ricky Castro is not playing right now because he's out one to two weeks. Lower back bruise. Okay. Well, we'll see if he's going to play against us. If he is going to play against us, then we'll play in that one in the next episode. But if he's not going to play, we'll probably just simulate it. So we lose to the Sixers. And then we lose to the Wizards. Back-to-back -back losses. Um, Martin Shelton for C. Adams. Let's see. Carlton Adams is a 20-year-old center. Okay, how old is Martin Shelton, though? He's 22 only. Okay, so no, no. Because a 76 for a 73, it'd be nice to get that first-round pick, I guess. But I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. We're just going to decline that. He's also only got one year left on his deal. Plus two team options, I guess. So yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna decline that. And let's see if um Castro, I think is his name, is playing. He is not, so we're just gonna simulate this game. I wanna find that next game that we're gonna play. This team doesn't look like there's too much going on with them. Do they have an injury? No. Okay, what about this team? 83, 86, 82, nothing crazy. Okay, this is a team that I want to play against then. Um, 84 center, 84 small forward, but an 89 shooting guard. Danny Rush. This is the really good defender, I believe. He's averaging 23.5 points, 7.5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, shooting 56, 50, 45, or 95 on the season so far in three games I guess only but still pretty crazy yeah he's a really good mid-range shooter he's not that great of a three-point shooter so I don't know why he's shooting so high 50% from from three he might not have taken very many I guess primary defense is a 99 steel is an 89 even his interior defense is a 61 whereas the position average is 47 and his blocks a 68 position average is a 48 so yeah that's that's not great um ian grant is gonna have a really tough time trying to score on this guy 99 lateral quickness 99 pass perception only 83 consistency and 83 help iq um yeah it's just gonna be 96 vertical it's gonna be a tough tough night for um ian grant all right so this is the next game we're gonna play so we're gonna simulate to that game um and then we won't play it. I'm going to play it in the next episode, but that's the next game we're going to play. And we are currently 5-3. Five 5-3. And three. Five and three. We ended up winning against the um, Warriors, but we lost against the Grizzlies. Let's take a look at the stats so far through eight games. Right now, Ian Grant is averaging 27 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 3 assists. Okay, Barney Owens is averaging 20 two and a half ish five rebounds 11 assists 3.8 steals wow shooting over 50 percent from the field as well john nixon our starting center is averaging 15 and a half points and about nine and a half rebounds as well as 2.3 steals and 2.1 blocks okay so owens is only shooting 30 percent from three though whereas nick or grant is shooting 44 percent nixon hasn't shot threes yet but yeah i mean i'm happy with that this is what i wanted um i wanted grant to be averaging around 25 owens to be averaging around 20 points 10 assists or 23 ish points and like eight and a half to nine assists so i'm pretty happy with that then nixon i wanted to be averaging about 15 and 12 ish but he's only at about 10 rebounds i didn't know if he'd be able to get up to 12 rebounds per game, seeing as he only has an 87 defensive rebound and a 75 offensive rebound, so it's nothing crazy, but he does have a high vertical and he is 7-1, so I just thought maybe he'd be able to. Chucky Ball is our fourth leading scorer. He is our sixth man, and he is only shooting 40% from the field, which is not very good. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up episode two of my auto-generated franchise. If you did enjoy this one, please leave a like, and the more likes I get, the faster I will push out the next episode. So leave a like if you wanna see the next episode. But other than that, that's gonna be for me. It's been Snowballer, and I'm out.